In this module, I'm going to teach you how to find and merge duplicate contacts in Salesforce. So let's go into our favorite account, Flintstone Inc. And what we'll see when we get to Flintstone Inc. is that we've got some duplicate contacts here. So if I look under contacts, I can see that I have Fred Flintstone, and then I have Wilma Flintstone, and someone created Wilma Flintstonian. They typed in her name wrong. And this is completely incorrect, and there's some information that's sitting in this record of Wilma Flintstone, and there's some other information that's sitting in the Wilma Flintstonian, and I need to merge them to meld them into one record. So I can see right here on the screen, there's the Merge Contacts button. Now, by the way, if you have a scenario where you have duplicate contacts, but they are linked to different accounts, you will first need to bring them into the same one account. So you will need to go into, click edit. When you're looking at any of the contacts, you'll need to click edit. And you will need to update the account name to bring all of those duplicate contacts into the same one account in order to leverage the feature that I'm about, that I'm about to show you. So let me hit cancel to go back into the prior screen that I was on a moment ago. So I'm on the account screen. And when the multiple duplicate contacts are here, I can click where it says the merge contacts on the top of the screen. And over here, I can search. So keep in mind, in this example, I happen to only have three contacts. But in theory, I could be working with a very large organization here. This could be an account that has 30, 50, 500 contacts in it. And that will span many pages. So let's go ahead and unclick all of these, and I want to find all of the duplicate contacts with the name Wilma in this account. So I'm typing in Wilma, and I click over here where it says Find Contacts, and it runs a query in this particular account for any contact whose name starts with Wilma. And I can see both of the duplicates listed right here. Both are checked off. Now I'm simply going to click on the next button in the lower right hand portion of the screen. Truth is you could do it from the upper right hand portion as well if you prefer. So I'm clicking over here where it says next. And now I'm going to be presented with another screen that is showing me side by side each of the different records. And it's also showing me what values exist in those records. So here I can see for example that okay both uh, both entries have her listed as a COO. In one entry, she's got a department that's listed as operations, and the other one, it's blank. And if we scroll down over here, in one entry, we've got a fax number, and the other entry, we do not. And we have, in one entry, the description is completely blank, and in the other entry, in the description field, it tells me that she's a fan of the Yankees and she loves the color blue. So by using the radio buttons over here, I can control which value will survive the merge once I complete the merge process. So now all I have to do is click the merge button down below. On the top of the screen, I have a pop-up reminder, a warning saying, by the way, this cannot be undone. Are you absolutely sure that you want to do it? Yes, I'm sure. So I'm going ahead and I'm hitting OK. The screen is going to refresh. And now when I go back to look at Flintstone Inc., and I look at the contacts, there are only two contacts. And there's only one listed for Wilma Flintstone. The other one disappeared. And if I look at this record, it now includes the data that was in both of those unique records for Wilma previously. So the description, etc., that was uh, listed before, those are all appearing here. Now, by the way, any of the open or prior activities that were listed on either uh, of those records, or I should say on both of those records, are now also merged into one. So now I have a, an even better 360-degree view of this particular record now that all of the details are merged. And that is how we find and merge duplicate contacts in Salesforce. If you're looking for more Salesforce end user training videos, either for yourself or your team, you'll want to head over to Brainiate Academy, where I've got online, on demand Salesforce training courses for end users. They will turn you into a Salesforce rock star. By enrolling in Brainiate Academy courses, 
you will get access to a private group of students and to a Salesforce MVP as your instructor. You can even reach out with your own personal Salesforce struggles and we will do whatever we can to help address them painlessly. Click on the link below to enroll in Brainiate Academy today. I am super thrilled to be part of your journey in learning how to use Salesforce. Keep up the awesome work and have a magnificent day.